This episode is sponsored by Zazzle.com. Let's face it, you love us. Why not use the coupon code EVERYDRINK13 at Zazzle.com and save 10% off $50 or more on awesome shirts, mugs, and accessories you probably don't need but want real bad. Remember code EVERYDRINK13. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Shomer. Today, we're going to create the AWOL cocktail. This recipe was submitted by Akira, and it has a few cool ingredients in it. We've got two ounces of melon liqueur. I'm using Midori. Way over there. I've got one ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, so I squeezed it. Not sure Is that, that how that works? works? Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you say things and you realize you probably just could have been better off not? One of those times. Pretty much your life. Pretty much. <laughs> um, and then it's on tape. One ounce of vodka. I have not, I wanted to make a little tasting video of this. Maybe do like a little vodka thing. But um, this just came in like Friday. It's called exclusive vodka. It's wheat vodka. I've decided I like wheat vodka. This, the scents, the, I just, little scent, kind of. Um, and it reminds me a lot of Absolute. So it's got potential. And... Some light rum we're using, let's see, Florida Canya Extra Dry Four Year. We're going to, the whole week, we're going to stir. There's no shaking this week. It's weird. Never had that happen. So, two ounces of melon liqueur, one ounce of every of the other ingredients, done. We're going to put it into a, uh, what do you call these things, cocktail? Martini. Martini glass, cocktail shaker. Not a shaker, a glass. Yeah. But that was a cocktail shaker. Oddly enough, says absolute. So what we're going to do is ice it up a little bit. should do we'll stir it we'll just dump these that's my one ounce heck I'll use this for the rest one ounce of the exclusive which is kind of a, a weird name I'm probably gonna like this I like Midori drinks. Midori drinks Midori drinks especially the melon two ball was just okay this is probably gonna be pretty potent yeah it probably will be because you've got a lot for a, a single cocktail glass there's a lot of ingredients here so you're probably going to find yourself being able to make two i went with the larger of my cocktail glasses if i have a chance today i want to go get some new ones because mine are all broken this one's chipped so i wouldn't use this for guests because they'll probably hurt themselves that's because we put them in the dishwasher yeah we just do so many videos it's like it's easier except you just got to go out and buy new ones when they chip yeah it's not economical no not defending that Gonna get this to a nice cold temperature. I've got ice in the glass. I'll take that out now because it's nice and chilly now. Because there's no soda or anything to really bring the chill. That should do. That feels good. I'm waiting for the comment of, did did he just lick the the spoon? Bartenders don't do that. Which you reply to, I'm, I'm not, not a bartender. bartender. I just play one on TV. That's right. That's pretty cool. This is huge. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if you saw a bartender behind the bar licking the spoon. <laughs> I mean, that's just something you don't even do with guests. Yeah. Throwing, right? And if, <laughs> if you're and if like, you're, uh, I don't think I want that cocktail anymore. If you're watching the show and you're like, emulate everything I do. Come on. Good luck to you. Yeah. You got a lot of other problems. So it's bright green. It looks like a Midori Sour. It's even got the um, the lime, like, fleshy bits floating in there. It's cool looking. I mean, it's pretty... It could probably use a, a cherry or something. I don't really... Yeah, I think a nice bright red maraschino cherry would be cool. Strawberry. Even or though strawberry. it doesn't taste anything like strawberry, but... True. It would look cool. Well, I'm guessing it doesn't taste anything like strawberry. Or a lime. Yeah, but lime's green. Wow. That's the... Don't... My reaction wasn't because this is disgusting. My reaction was because I haven't had anything sour today. Yeah, lime. And that lime is biting. It's a it freshly cut lime, so you've got that nice... I don't know, juicy spike of acidity. and It's pretty cool. Not as sweet as I thought it would be. 
more. I mean, Dory Sour, to me, sounds like it should be sour. And there's arguably ones you can make more sour, less sour. This is sour. With the hints of Midori, it's not overpowering Midori. That sour kick is just so strong that it's your first impression. You're like, there is some sour in this drink. And the finish is melon and vodka. Like the, the little ethanol, a little alcohol. If you're not into drinks that have the alcohol taste, you are not going to appreciate how this ends. Um, if you like Midori, and you can deal with a little bit of potency, and you like sour, perfect drink. Sexy looking. So if you're, and if you're looking for, I would say this is a sour drink where when I have guests and they say, I want something sour, I can totally make them decide they don't like sour, right? We have drinks that when you make them, like the drink we made for New Year's, it was a cat daddy and some other stuff. It was pretty sour. And people who say they like sour find out they like a little bit of sour. This is a perfect balance because of the striking Midori sweetness against the little overpowering sour. It makes it tolerable. I think sour drinkers will actually enjoy it. Um, Maybe even some sweet drinkers. Maybe even you. We'll find out. Maybe. Maybe. So there you go. That's the AWOL. I'm going, I'm going to say super sour this time. Depends on what you use. Fake juice, maybe not so much. EverydayDrinkers.tv. Exclusive vodka. We're teaching how to drink.